Okay, and we have Body Mechanic, yeah. a certified fitness, sleep, and wellness consultant in the studio. Yeah. Happy New Year. Same, same, same here. Same here. <laughs> all right, so we're talking about all the weight people get mm -hmm. and how we probably have again because we're constantly working and a lot of people have Christmas, so they have New Year resolutions regarding their weights and okay. um, how can people actually remove all of those unwanted calories from the death of December they had. <laughs> yeah. so, I like the death of December she had. I didn't gain weight. <laughs> Even if you didn't gain, but it's still in your system. You need to no, but the good thing is that looking at her from the last time I came on set, mm. you know, that she's lost a little bit of weight is obvious. I, I, I can see on you too, is, and it's showing in your face. Mm. You know, because most of the time we judge, people go by scale. I, I want the scale to move. Yeah. I want the inches. I want my clothes. I want my clothes fit. Mm. Now, I go with two. I go with how your clothes fit, mm -hmm. right? And I go with the scale. Now, not just the scale and the inches, how do you feel? Now Christmas is over, the holidays over for some people that are staying in all the, all the mood, mm -hmm. but now you're back into reality. Now ask yourself, the things you did before in December, maybe you went for a 10K run or a 5K run or walk, or you started, walk up, I started walking three times a week. I do 30 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. Now go back, can you do 30 minutes, the same 30 minutes you did? Now if you have one of those things that can check your, 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 your pace, your step, your active calories, you, you know, that you know, okay, look, am I, have I done much or have I done less? That's the only way you can check it and mm -hmm. know. Now, for footballers, I was talking to someone that said, you know what, footballers train, do they have off-season? Off-season, they come back, they still work out, they'll still train. Now, for you to be top-notch, to be up there, you have to keep training, you have to keep working out. That's how I was supposed to treat our body. Mm -hmm. You didn't just want to say, look, it's Christmas, it's holiday, I need to go back and sit down and just chill and wait till next year, I start my new resolution. You see, it's inevitable. Everyone wants to hear Christmas, they're like, ah. It's time to lose, to lose, let me just lose I'm myself in the spirit. I consciously do, I will do anything I feel like doing. Sure, but remember, even though you want to do this, it's Christmas, it's holiday period, right? Mm -hmm. You just need to be active. And that's what you said earlier, you need to be active. Yeah. Now, when I mean active, activity. Not just it's Christmas, I just sit down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I have it on one, one spot. I'm not active, I'm not moving. Mm. So even when you eat, or even though you eat, you still need to be active. How do you do this? Activities in the house. Go out. They just stay indoor. Oh, it's mm. holiday, I just need to chill, chill, watch a movie, you know, eat, and all that. No, you still need to be active to burn the unwanted calories. Mm. So it makes it easy. January becomes easy for you. Everybody I train understand. I know if they're watching me, they can tell. They know body mechanic. If I train you, it's Christmas, you're not going to hang your boot. You're going to get at it. You get, yes, because one, are you getting younger? Mm. Are you getting younger for Christmas? Are you going to be a day younger? That's the question I always ask my client. Mm -hmm. It's like not driving your car for three days. I sit yeah. in my car, it's fine. The four diamonds in the car and hunt ignition, I hit the road. No, you need to warm the car. That's the same with the body. The body needs, to, you need to warm the body and that's what exercise does for you. Mm. Now, now, this thing of the 1,200 calories per day. Whoa. <laughs> when they say 1,200 calories, especially with people who are trying to lose weight, okay. is that effective? Mm, is that effective? 1,200 calories. I know it's 3,500 calories to lose a pound. Oh, okay. 3,500 calories to lose a pound. Now, what's your breakfast? What's the ideal breakfast? If, I, if we sit and calculate your breakfast, you might do 1,000 break calories breakfast. Mm -hmm. Now, you do a lunch. It's not thousand. That means at the end of the day, you're doing three thousand plus calories. Are you trying to burn? Now, how do you do it? Even though you go on this diet, you do. Let me do this diet. You know that you lose water weight at the beginning. That's the first thing. Now, if you're gonna lose these calories or lose this weight, your body needs food, mm. right? Your system needs food. But first and foremost, I'm gonna drop this. First time from before you begin this form of exercise, it's New Year. You have to go on a detox, mm. like you said. I go jedi. <laughs> I say I go jedi. <laughs> I'm just you kidding, know, I'm just you know, I think just but yeah, there are so many ways. So many ways to go on a detox. Is that you do fruit fruits, detox or you do vegetable detox. detox, for example? Now you don't just hit it, hit the oh, I'm gonna just do three days or four days. I'm gonna do this, then I hit the workout. Even when you go to do the detox, it can be three days detox. The fourth day, start the workout gradually. Mm. Start with something light, not intense. Now, if I'm gonna train you, for example, I, I go for a 30, 40 minutes workout with you, do a little cardio, do a little strength and do a little flexibility, just get your body ready, you know, as we're working out. Because I know, look, you're, you're just, you're going on, it's like your car. Mm. Little gas in the fuel tank takes you from the house to the gas station. Mm. It's the same with your system. If something little in your, in your system will get you through that 10, 15 minutes workout routine that you can build up from there. But if I just rush into the workout, you can pass out. Mm. So even the detox thing, you must make sure you listen to your body. 
don't go on a detox and you just walk into the gym. Oh, there's a workout going on and it's heat, it's high intensity. You jump into the workout, okay. stamina can't take you anymore. And the next thing you can lose. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people doing this whole detox. And I know you mentioned fruits and vegetables, yeah. but a couple of people also believe that by drinking lots of water, water. Yeah. like doing water, they call it the water, water detox or water therapy. Yes. Yeah, so what's it about the water? You know, the good thing about water, water, I'm a fan of water, and I always talk about time to hydrate. Now, you need to hydrate, you can hydrate, but what the water does in your system, like your car, you put water in the car to help the radiator and all that, it does that for you. For the joints, the muscle, your knee, your blood, that's sorry, sorry for another day, I'm going to leave it for another mm -hmm. day. You know, that. Now, for you to do a detox, if, if you're doing a fast, some folks go on a fast, a dry fast, they don't hydrate, they don't take water. You understand? You start having headache. Yes, Shortage yes, of water in your yes, body, yes. overheating in your car. Now, for the detox, it depends on your system, it depends on your body. Can you withstand it? Can you go through it with, for example, three liters of water, bottle of water every day for three days? Can you do it? If you mm. can, that's fine. Yeah, people with disease, you, you, you heard, uh, water disease, like excess water. Excess water. Excess water. water. And you wouldn't know if you have it, if you, uh, except you now try that's, to take excess water that's and the then you finally call that's it the thing. Now, can you go on, can you calculate it? Yes, you can. Go by your arms, calculate your body weight, and then you can come up with a calculation. Out, leave it for another day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come talk about water, how to calculate. You know the percentage of water or the, the, maybe the bottle of water you're yeah. supposed to take. So you don't do excess of the water in your system, right? Too much mm -hmm. of it is bad. Less of it is bad also. Yeah. You know, so if you want to do a detox, a water detox, that's fine. You can do it. But like I said earlier, listen to your body. Know what mm -hmm. you're doing. Can your body withstand it? Can you take this? Not eating food for a day. Or two days. Even when you go on the fast, you know what happens to you. Those right? Dry fast. Dry and fast. I know it's crazy. And, and everything just water, goes water, back water. into. So it depends. Now, if you do the water therapy, can you still work out? Can you still work out? That's the question. Can so when you, when you say water therapy, it's just taking water alone? Water alone. So wow. in the morning, you just have maybe. The, I, I know most of my clients that I see, the, you go, they have this big jar where they yeah. have water and you all can that. Do this. They yes. Have measurements yes, and measurements and all that. It's good, one, because of the benefits of water your skin, your blood, your kidney, which is good, your brain. The skin, which is the biggest in your body, takes its own position in the water. So if you take the water, it's very good. Mm. But, like I always say, can you take it and run? Can you take it and skip? Can you take it and join a boot camp or, you know, a high-intensive workout class? Can you do it? If you can, better for you. But if you can't, go with the little water you have, right? But I think ideally, do a detox first because just get your system ready because it makes weight loss easy. If your metabolism is up here, weight loss becomes easy. You understand? Mm. Because most times people just think, oh, they blame the trainer. My trainer is not working out. It's not the one supposed to know. No, please, do a detox. Get your system ready. It's like blending. What do you want to blend in the kitchen, right? If you're blending onion and you're blending tomato, there are two different things that happens in the blender. If you put pepper, something happens. If you try banana, now, can you put everything at once and blend? It has to be a process. Mm. It takes time. So you need to add a little bit of water into the blender. That's what goes on in your system when you lose weight. Mm. Now, I weigh 78 kg. Wow. And this is me. Now, I do any kind of workout. I just I had so many sessions this morning, you know, that I had just finished with my seniors. Seniors are between 60 to 90 years old, you know, that now we had to do an interesting workout to work every single muscle in the body. But in between the workouts, I kept saying, pause and hydrate, pause and hydrate, pause and hydrate. Mm. That you do it, what are you doing? You're replenishing. You're replenishing. For some people, they don't. They are dehydrated. And when mm. you start having headache, your scalp, yeah. you're wondering why it's always dry. Your body's asking for water. Mm. Okay. And most of the people don't give the body water. All right. We, 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 there's still a lot we're going to be talking about which one fits which people because people just kind of mix it. Should you go for one? Should you go for which? So we we'll just for different uh, kinds of weight, weights uh, and um, sizes, yeah. Okay. yeah. So we we'll just take a quick break and then we'll be right back. This is kind of information you need to start the new year. We'll be right back. All yeah. right. So we have body mechanic in the studio mm -hmm. who is here to guide us away from our death <laughs> December and just put us back in track because yeah. of course people, some people need the discipline. Yeah. If they don't have discipline, yeah. they will not work out, yeah. you know, and they want to really lose the weight. So, so yeah, the question we we're going to ask before was, mm -hmm. um, now we have to be specific. Yeah. Your body type, yeah. mm -hmm. what would work effectively yeah. for you, at least for this period? Yeah. You know, so let's go with that. First. I think ideally, if you ask me, for some people, I don't call ladies big, so I always say they're plum. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're on this side, side you know, of the, of the chart, you know, for example, you're weighing 110, 120 kg, now, if you're in a class, a, a fitness class, for example, maybe step aerobics, dance aerobics, or hit class, for example, you don't do the same, you don't move at the pace of the person that is weighing 60, 70 kg. Mm. Now, you might think because you're 60, 70 kg, oh, she's flying, she's almost in the air, and you think you'll do the same or you can do the same thing, or you can't. 
remember you need to be careful and it depends on your weight mm. if you're on the big side be careful with your knee if you're doing mm. jump squat or you're doing power squat or you're stepping or you're doing some kind of squat kind of exercises be careful so you don't want to injure your knee in the process that's the thing now for some that is you can be slim and fit and slim and not fit and slim and not fit hmm. that's deep yes it's true i think yeah. i choose the latter okay me currently i don't think i'm as i'm fit not as fit be. <laughs> i'm slim I'm I haven't worked out I know for why. a while. <laughs> okay. Because I've tra trained and I, I see people in, cl in classes when you see them walk out, you see this lady just walking into the gym and she, whoa, she's, she's deadlift. Maybe she just did deadlift. Mm -hmm. You know, that maybe let me just pick like uh, 12 or 15 kg dumbbell and you go like, uh -huh. whoa, I can do the same thing. And you go pick the same dumbbell and you want to do really? the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. Don't yeah. think because like I always say, you're slim. You can be slim and fit. It depends. Now, fitness, I don't go fitness. Fitness is a state of you being healthy and strong. Okay. Now, when I, I always say when I train you, I look at so many things. How many push-ups can you do? I have a client that is, is 65. I started when the first day I tra trained him, I went to his house. Where I did my assessment, diagnosis and assessment. And how many push-ups can you do? So I can do 10 push-ups. I said, okay, cool. Let me see. He went on the floor and his form was wrong. Mm -hmm. mm. His form was wrong. I was like, can, you, can I see you? He did. He did 10 push ups. Like he got to eight. He was wobbling. He was dancing at eight on the floor. That's you know, like now, two days. months after, right? Two months after in December, we went up from 10 to 30 push ups. Right? Now, last week, we went up January, beginning of January. We went to, f now he's doing 50 push ups. Mm. The right form, the correct form, right? 50 at 65 years old. Now, did I just That's start? Did he just start impressive. overnight? No. Mm. No. I started with 10. Like I said, your form first, your agility. When you spoke about discipline, I love you so much. I have three Ds. I always said if I train you, you must watch my, my watch word. Discipline, determination, Amazing. and dedication. I can do 1,007 push-ups. Can you say, oh, 1,007 body mechanic, that's too much. You can break it into 200, 200, 150. Am I trying to, am I trying to beat somebody? No. I'm fit because of what I do. Mm. You so understand? What? Because what I do is my work. Now, do I get tired easily when I walk out? I can manage my breath. Right? That's the thing. So now I know me in a class, mm -hmm. right? I do work out. Because I'm working out, I can push you to the limit of what I'm doing. I can ask yeah. you to do it. Yeah. Right? Now I have to train you. Mm. And it doesn't just start overnight. It doesn't just end. I mean, it's a process. To wrap up the conversation, what would yeah. be just tips people can learn or tips yeah. they can or basically pointers. pointers to help them get back into shape? For this new year, some kind of afford it. Because Coach. now you know that once mm -hmm. the holiday immediately the holiday ended, straight to work. work. Someone so there's no space to say, let me just get ready. Somebody was chatting with me and she said to me, you know what, I do this every time, but you know what, I've stopped that last year. And I told myself, 2022 <laughs> won't be the same. Because I'm not a day younger, I'm mm. a day older. Now the things I used to do back then, I just... I do them eat. no more. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to eat. I'm going to eat. Generally come, I set my resolution and then I hit the gym and I start working. No, start slow. Start slow. And I will say this, get the proper workout shoes. Get the proper socks. Don't just think you're ready for it. Make sure because you've added a little bit of weight. Now, is, are your shoes ready for the road? Are the right tire? Is it the right tire you're using? Make sure your shoes are ready. Make sure your socks are ready. The socks you're using, whatever kind of stockings you're using. Make sure you have the proper sports wear. If you're a lady, make sure you go for the right sport bra. Don't just pick any type and just wear your t-shirt and you go out and think it's okay. No, make sure it's ready. Then if, when you're going to go out, if you're going to do outdoor workout, make sure the floor, the surface you're running or walking on is ideal for your knee. Mm. Don't go trying to lose weight. And you end up damaging your knee or your hips in the process because lumbar off, guy, you're going to be on the wheelchair and I don't want you to do it. So make sure your sneakers is ideal, your socks is the right one, your sports wear, the surface you're working out on. If you're joining the gym, ask the trainer question. Ask the trainer question. If you're working out, if you're deadlifting, ask him, am I doing it right or am I doing it wrong? And if you're doing it at home. Too. If you're doing it at home, make sure if you go online and check, they show you most of the videos you go on YouTube, you see. Now you can check videos and tell you, you can look, the right form to squat, how to squat how to do jumping jacks, yeah, how to land on your the feet, right the right form. I'm going to come again. I'm going to come. I'm gonna, these are things I'm going to be sharing. sharing. Okay, I have a program. It's called Technique Clinic where I look out for the things you do, mm. how you sit, how you squat, how you do jumping jacks, how you do jump squat. Make sure you have your glass of water. Always hydrate even when you walk out. Listen to your body. But please, can I just say this and I'm going to stop? Now, you, because you've walked out in December, this is January, do I have to go see my doctor? Yes, if you have to do it, please go ahead and do it. If you're 16 and above, if you're 14 and above, go see your doctor, do an assessment. Mm. Make sure your heart is ready for what mm. you're about to do. You don't just think your body because you have True. muscle. You're big outside. What about the inside? What's, what's happening on the inside? Wow. Go see your doctor. Check your blood pressure. Check your sugar level. Try out an assessment mm. first, first before, before 
Don't be assume and think, oh, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm mm -hmm. good. No. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you. That's a lot of um, information. Lot of yeah. But at the end of the day, pick the one that works for you. Not everyone can. Yeah. Uh, True. At least out of everything, the first one you can remember, go and see your doctor first and then get your kit right before you easy. start anything. That your one is doctor easy. is easy. You can use your phone Shut to check. Mm. Check yeah. your blood pressure. Let's yeah. start from somewhere. Fine. Okay. Um, that's so much information. And um, I think that we're still in the spirit of giveaways. Yeah. You know, mentioned um, some of our giveaways from the Christmas period, but this is still an opportunity to give away so many, many things. So we're giving out this beautiful set of products. This, this is for one person. Hmm. And um, I, I, I formulated the questions. Yeah, I'll put the questions down there. Congratulations. Uh, so this <laughs> question is, you have to go to our page to win. And the first person who gets it correctly gets you can. <laughs> what are the skin care stage routines? There are routines for skin care stage. stage. Come, send me a DM. Oh, don't. Send me a DM. Then That's the move first for one. classes. After the classes. The first person to get that correctly, please. <laughs> the second one is what would you do with these vouchers? This is beautiful vouchers to the Palm City Mall to shop. 5,000 so vouchers. So it's basic, simple. What, we what would What would you do? The third one is where is Zaron's office located? The head office, not the uh, Because branches. we have plenty. I was about to give you like five. Not the head office. I want the full address. <laughs> and now this one is uh, from Yadstick Lounge for two couples. What is the most lovely thing your spouse has done for you? Of course, you know Valentine yeah, so is coming. There's so many giveaways and so many questions. Valentine is coming, oh, so you need to answer this one so you get to your couple. And um, the last one, this is the one we want. You want to receive massage. This is a Swedish massage Cutsy. for one lucky from Amani Spa. <laughs> this, oh, this whole giveaway is a courtesy who is that? This is from Shine's... Um, oh, the Shine Bevel um, Christmas, Christmas giveaway. Christmas giveaway. So please... Oh. Yes. All these questions go to our Silverbird page, Silverbird Television, and um, the first set of people. And also on Facebook, we're on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, if you get the answers correctly, Silverbird Television on Facebook. And um, if you get the answers correctly, please, please. Good luck, please, guys. Good, good luck. luck. Guys. We're going you to put it send, set, Like I said. <laughs> we're going to be putting this out there so we get winners. So please go straight. You want to win this. And um, the word of the day is from Nute Rockney. One man practices sportsmanship is far better than 50 preaching it. This kind of mm. relates to our conversation there uh, that we just had. One man practicing sportsmanship is far better than 50 people preaching it. So you can be preaching, but I want to work out 50 people. One person yeah. who decides to do it is it's better is better and get results. So this is where we wrap up the show. I don't want to go. <laughs> but I got to go. I'll see you guys soon. Yes. Soon. We'll see Thursday. you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Thank you.